Hey guys, I've uh, done more in, like involved plan with me's in the past that were like edited and voiced over and stuff. But I got a really good um, response to my last weekly plan with me where I just kind of sat down and did it. So I'm just going to chat at you for a while. But first, I want to absolutely make sure that I have the dates right. Um, if you watched last month's monthly plan with me, I got, I like, I skipped the 22nd or something like, something weird like that. So let's see. November starts on Friday. I almost said November starts on the 1st. Like, yeah, that's groundbreaking. So I am switching things up a little bit for my monthly this month. Um, last month I had a whole involved habit tracker the last couple months I have, um, and it's been great. It's been helping me get some good, um, habits going for my morning and evening routines. Um, but as it kind of tends to do, uh, life ebbs and flows and gets more and less busy with time. And so I found that, um, I wasn't getting to the habit trackers first thing in the morning. Um, I wasn't motivated to flip there or I didn't have the time to flip there or whatever it was. Uh, I would end up looking at it later in the day and either trying to remember whether I had done the thing or kicking myself for not having done the thing. And it's like, well, you're not at home right now. You can't, you know, empty the dish rack. So now it's just not checked off and fail, fail, but like, you know, it's not the end of the world and it's less of a big deal to not empty the dish rack than to not fill in the, the little dot for it. I don't know. Um, so I basically, long way of saying that I decided to, to ditch the habit tracker. I actually ditched it like uh, almost a week ago now, I think, and it's been feeling... It's, it's good. <laughs> it's better to not worry about it. Um, so let me see. I haven't used these stamps in a while. November. These are just the Happy Planner stamps. And... stamp block. I'm switching purses. I think it's in my old purse here. I think like ish. It's kind of right over here. And then we'll put something. Eh, forget it can't find my stamp block or the ink and honestly kind of just don't want to bother so I'll just do a little bit of a lettering it'll probably look horrible so I'm going to be silent for a minute while I focus on this Whatever. It says November. Can you tell? I'm gonna go ahead and this may look horrible. I'm trying to decide if I want to even no, I don't want to do that. I was gonna add like color highlights to it, but no. I hope some of that was in frame just now. Let's see. I don't really have room. Mm -hmm. I found it. <laughs> oh well. I think I will use this guy. So my plan for the color theme for the month is green and purple for the only reason that I like it. And November is my birthday month, so I get to indulge just my favorite colors. 
celebrating myself. This is from Simply Gilded. I think I might just do a little touch along the side here. I got it. So the things that have changed, um, obviously this, well, not obviously, if you haven't watched last month's playing with me, I'm not going to make you go back and watch that one. I didn't use this insert for last month. This is actually part of a two, like a, a two page monthly insert. Sorry. Um, and so this is actually supposed to be on the left. And then on the right is just like a, a to-do list, uh, with a little bit of like note space at the bottom. Instead, I cut it so that it's on the right side of the page. And then on the back, I've printed this guy. So this is going to be the, um, just, this is going to be for events and this is going to be for tasks. So I'm just going to highlight the weekends. That's well, here. Um, trying to decide if I want to highlight the whole, yeah. There we go. I do this differently every single month. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really matter anyway. Two, three, four, five, and Saturday. And then. The room along the bottom. There is there is just just room along the bottom. I kind of don't want to though. Uh, maybe a different one. Ah, there we go. It's like I don't have to cover up thirty one, but if I don't, I think my brain is gonna forget that there's no thirty first. So. I mean, in theory, I could use that for the first because, uh, you know, the first of December is going to end up on a weekly with the last week's November anyway. But by the time a new month rolls around, I'm like so ready for new layouts and stuff that it's not going to be an issue. All right, so I think that this is exactly the width. Yep. Just trim it all the way, or should I rip it? I'll rip it. Go. Hopefully. And then I'll use green for the headers here. So this is for my context list. I also um, previously had my um, like a monthly grid and that was my Instagram tracker or sort of Instagram content calendar. I'm moving all of that back to my general like YouTube section, um, which I'm going to be showing you today as well. And got a couple of errands done off my context list the other day and it felt so good. Do exactly the same thing on the other side. It's just it's the exact right uh, width for that washi tape. Hmm. It is really hard to spell and talk at the same time. So how was everyone's October? Mine was really good, I think. Um, I got a lot 
done. I keep telling anybody who will listen about my brilliant idea to start waking up at five in the morning. But, you know, it really has been really helpful for me to have a little bit of time that like, yeah, I also have evenings. I'm filming this at night. Um, but a lot of the things like writing stuff, writing things, uh, blog posts and video scripts and stuff like that, um, was just too much mental, uh, exercise, I guess, for me for late night. So, um, doing that in the early morning has been really great for me. All right. So this is the entirety of what's going to go up front. It's just a little month grid, the little section for events, which I may as well fill out right now since I have my future log. My future log is in the back here. Here we go. see I can't see all right so first we've got third is standard time oh I know the first is um something too it doesn't have to be in order Also, no, I'll just put it on the same. There. Um, let's see. I've got a mom group with the church that meets once a month. Then six. I don't know if I'm going to this or not. And then let's go ahead and use this guy. The 28th and 29th is Thanksgiving. So we're going to be off work there. And then maybe I'll just put like a little heart on my birthday. Look at that. And that is pretty much it. I may do more with this decoratively, but probably not. I think keeping it simple is good. And then so I've got the monthly grid there with uh, events and then tasks go here, which I'll pull that from my future log and from the recurring task list. And then this is my context list where I just have my running to-do list. So that's the entire front. Very simple for a change, which is nice. And then in the back is where I'm going to get a little bit slightly more adventurous. Two more sheets. And this is for um, my YouTube section. So the idea here, did I write down my notes? I did. I wrote down the columns I want here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have columns here for my YouTube videos, blog posts, Instagram, Twitter, and my monthly email newsletter. So, where are we in width? <coughs> Excuse me. Let me just... That would not go very far. Yeah, I'll just do it, split it in, in fifths. So we're roughly, 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 four, eight, nine, eh. All right. Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to pull out the calculator because I don't want to make a mistake. We've got 60 millimeters divided by 5 is 12. Okay. Let's see here. 12. 12. I hope 
super enjoying this. Uh, I haven't measured something like this in a long time. You like the view of the top of my head? Twelve. 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 All right. Hopefully that worked. It's handy to have a ruler in your planner at all times. This obviously came with a notebook. So I have some thoughts that I might, um, in the new year, use one of the fold-out inserts from the Peanuts Planner Co. Undated Yearly Bundle. Um, actually the same one that I used, may as well show you since I've got it out. For this, um, this is only one month of it, but it's like a fold-out with all 12 months. Um, and because it's a grid, I wouldn't have to be doing this part. But basically, I just want to have a place to mark off that, like, I have done the thing for the day. So I can do them in advance and then just look at, like, what's, what's still left to do. If that's making sense. So, start here. I'll put actually another strip of the washi tape along the bottom to remind myself there are only 30 days. 30 days hath November. Which always seemed super unfair when I was doing Yanoremo. But then again, trying to divide an odd number would have made it a lot, uh, a lot messier. They would have had to make it like a 51,667 word novel to make it tidy. <laughs> All right. So first column is, no, let's do this in color too. I've got my Stabilo fine liners here. So first column, YouTube video. Second column, blog, third, Instagram, fifth, Twitter, which I am not paying attention to yet. I don't have like goals for it yet. Um, I'll put news because there's a newsletter and I think it's coming out on maybe the last Wednesday of the month, but I haven't set that in stone. Um, but in any case, the, uh, the newsletter for October, I believe either went out yesterday or today. Um, so it's, you can still sign up for it and I believe I will find a way to send you a link to this month's if you want it, but, um, it's already gone out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And I guess I kind of want to do it this way. I have to look at the calendar again, make sure I know when like say Thursdays and Sundays are. So Thursday is the 7th. So, like this, like highlighting the, the days that I need. Also the third is a Sunday. So these are the days that I am posting videos, right? The 14th and the 10th. And I guess I'll go through, I don't have to do all of this right now on camera for you. But the idea, again, is that I'm showing, you know, myself which days I need content for. And I just feel better about life if I have them scheduled in advance. So I'll be able to just put an X on the columns when it's done. Um, the blog posts are kind of irregular. I'm trying to aim for one a week, but some of them have to come out on certain days to correspond with videos. I'm trying to post on Instagram once a day. So if you're following me over there, hopefully I've been sticking to that for the last couple of weeks. Um, I finally signed up for a service that lets me schedule them in advance. So 
that's going to be a lot better. And then Twitter, like I said, I'm not worried about. And the newsletter only comes out once. So that's the front of my like content section. Next is this, the context list. It is only three columns wide. It is separate because I basically work on this stuff in a chunk. That five to six hour window, sorry, five to five to six a.m. one hour window um, every weekday morning. And so it's not in the same context list as everywhere else. Plus it would get kind of crowded and Anyway, it's nice to be able to just turn to this section when I'm doing the things. And um, you know, early morning or late at night, ideally, um, the night before, I kind of plan out which things I want to focus on so that I can jump straight out of bed, grab my coffee, and go working. Um, anyway, it's all in its own section, as I say. And it only has three columns, which are right meaning like drafts, things that I just sit down and like write, 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 um, where I want to like turn on some white noise and not have distractions. Home are things that must happen at my home computer, things like editing videos, filming videos, yeah. And then away, which are things that I can get done if I'm at a different computer, on my phone, in my planner, stuff like that. And then the last thing here is just a simple waiting on list. I'm just going to put the header here. Because say I send out an email and I don't want to forget to follow up on it. You all know what waiting on lists are, right? But I feel like I have more waiting on type things. Um, in this section than in others. I'm trying to do a really good job of keeping track of my projects in this section specifically. Mostly because they're all smallish projects that are like, you know, week, two weeks, usually. Um, so things that I can like really focus on and, and be really productive with um, that have very concrete tasks associated with them. It feels really good to get them done. So uh, here we are. So that's everything. To recap, this is the front section, monthly grid with events, monthly list with tasks, and then two sides of a context list for general, general life tasks. And then in my YouTube planning section, I've got my sort of content checklist for the month. Um, elsewhere is where I track like or track or plan what my um, video topics are going to be and stuff like that. Um, but this is just, did it get done yet? So I can look ahead to like future weeks. Actually, I can maybe put a line. So say, you know, it's the first through the, well, no, through Sunday. I actually do plan, yeah, through Sunday. Well, I was going to say that was different. It's not different. It's exactly the same. Is that right? No, Sunday's right here. Good thing, I, good thing I checked. So I can look at the week ahead and go, okay, I have done everything I need to do. You know, I can work ahead to, for the next week, but it's nice to be able to, on the weekend, um, look and see that there's nothing that needs to get done. You know, I can work on my Sunday video on Saturday. It's better if it's already done during the week. All right, there we go. Then again, context list for YouTube tasks and a waiting on list. And then that's it. I'll also have like my project pages are right after this and I'm going to consolidate those on a monthly basis. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make a point of showing you more in depth what that looks like um, in my next flip through. So keep an eye out for that. If you're not subscribed, um, there is a button for that and that will help you uh, know what is going on at all times. So I encourage you to check that out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this format. Let me know below if you'd prefer something more 
uh, polished, you know, I won't take offense. I am always just trying to vary things up because sometimes I prefer to just plan with headphones and then do a voiceover later. Um, there's all different kinds of ways to do it, but this month I'm keeping it simple. I'm looking forward to it. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.